everybody, my name is Shinrabi Prong, um, and I'm representing the Southeast Asian community today. Community today. Um, at first, I was kind of confused as why uh, folks asked me to speak, uh, but then I was like, oh yeah, my parents are refugees, um, and I'm a first generation, right? Um, I was like, oh, that's the connection. Um, and so, uh, speaking from the Cambodian uh, American perspective uh, and our refugee community who's been here in the United States for over 30 years, uh, 42 if you count the ending of the genocide. Um, these, these hate crimes, I think, are a symptom of a larger divisive infrastructure that tries to break our community. Um, it is a generational inheritance of a uh, unbroken system of violence, right, that really reflects a much deeper foundational problem in the United States. Um, and so during this time of political change, shift in social political landscapes, um, it grants permission to actively exert hatred, right, in both physical, mental, and ideological forms. Um, and this is a reflection of the foreseeable future in the United States. And I don't want my daughter, who is a second generation Cambodian American, to grow up, and I don't think you want your granddaughters and your daughters to grow up in the United States that consent to hatred. Um, so in this moment, it is a big, intense wake-up call for all of us. This is a, this is a wake-up call. Right? It's, a, it's a big shock in our face, right? It has continued for generations. Think about it, generational inheritance from one father to his son to his grandson, right? Or from one grandmother to her daughter and to her granddaughter. This is meant to break our spirit. This is meant to break our community, but it will not, right? It will not break our community. Violence. We have to point it out, right? This this is a small small event, but it's, it is a deeper deeper reflection of how we are as human beings, right? And how this system has worked for particular communities. Um, I ask the community to take action. Uh, so, as in, in any given organizer or any activist, we ask you to take action. Right? Our, our leader, there's a lot of leaders here, right? There's a lot of leaders here. Um, so I ask the community to take action, to transform this experience and to shift our complacent thinking and turn it into action. We build resistance by building with one another, cross-culturally, intersectionally, and through racial, burial, like racial barriers. Um, this is the reality as a community. People who love and care for the future generations, we can't, we can't settle for this. I won't settle for this. For local leaders and local politics, we need to be strong and unapologetic. We do. We can't, we can't apologize anymore for the way that we feel and the vision in which we see um, our community. And so we need systemic solutions, right? Not just temporary or reactive solutions. We need strategic systemic solutions. So, and, and the last thing I want to say is that, like, that we are here and we are resilient. We're, we're not leaving. <laughs>